know we just got into the spooky season. We gotta make a quick change for this news. Spider-Man fans, hold on to your spider webs because we just got some amazing mind-blowing news that could lead to something huge setting up in the Spider-Verse. What I'm gonna be talking to you guys is just this recent story that came out moments ago that Jamie Foxx, who played Electro in Amazing Spider-Man 2, is coming back to play Electro again, but in Tom Holland's Spider-Man 3. I'm not joking, this ain't clickbait, this is from a legit website, the highest ranking you can get! We're gonna be breaking down all the details, how this is even possible, what could this mean for Spider-Man 3, I need you Spider-Man fans to let me know down below, what do you think of this news? What do you think this means for Marvel, the MCU, the Sony Spider-Verse? You guys know Spider-Man is my favorite superhero and this right here is just the jolt we needed for the spooky season. As well as don't be forgetting to hit that like button, especially for me trying to make Spider-Man decorations work in the spooky season. All right, so this is coming from The Hollywood Reporter and like I've told you guys, The Hollywood Reporter is basically the god tier of source from movie news. If they are lying, then you can't trust anybody in the movie world. This is the number one place to go basically and they have it here that Spider-Man 3 jolt Jamie Foxx returning as Electro. In the article they have it, Jamie Foxx who played classic Spidey villain Electro in Andrew Garfield's starring Amazing Spider-Man 2 is in final talks to reprise the role for the latest Spider-Man installment starring Tom Holland and being made by Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures. How is this even possible? As far as we know, the Tom Holland Spider-Man universe is one completely different from the Andrew Garfield Spider-Man universe. These are two separate worlds. I think what we're looking at right here is the makings and the starting for them bringing a live action Spider-Verse movie to the big screen. I don't see how else you can explain this. It's one thing to bring back Jamie Foxx to play one of the villains from Spider-Man's Rogue Galley. Okay, if that happened, that's not a big deal. We've had actors before switch out roles in the past where Chris Evans was the Human Torch, now he's Captain America, Ben Affleck is Daredevil, and then he became Batman. If Jamie Foxx went from playing Electro and then, I don't know, was the new Sandman or was even new Kraven the Hunter, I'd be like, okay, that's not that big of a reveal, but he's playing the exact same villain that we already got once in a Spider-Man man movie this really has never happened before but this actually isn't the first time they go ahead and do this in this spider-man world don't forget they brought back an actor to play the exact same role he did in a different spider-man universe with j jonah jameson portrayed by jk simmons who is playing a different version of j jonah jameson for tom holland's spider-man world this is all really going to tie into what the mcu has planned for phase four because i know we're going to be getting some multiverse jumping in doctor strange 2 multiverse of madness which is set to start shooting at the end of this month and then we get this news that a Electro is happening? I smell something cooking up here, Kevin Feige. Other details that we're going to go back to in this article go as, story details are being kept under the mask, but having Fox return is a stunner as it shows a further meddling of the previous Spider-Man movies in the current Holland series, which is the first one that Marvel has running point on production. So let's get this straight here then. If Jamie Foxx is returning as Electro, don't expect him to be the same blue looking, goofy acting guy that he was in Amazing Spider-Man 2. In the same way J. Jonah Jameson came back in Holland's universe, we are going to be getting a different version of that. And I'm hoping they give this guy that look and costume because I dig this costume so much. But if this even at all opens the door slightly for Andrew Garfield to pop back up and play Spider-Man, MCU, you will forever have my money for the rest of time. You can make all the crap you want. I will watch it. Andrew Garfield, for some reason, is just my favorite version of Spider-Man, okay? I liked his charm. I liked his Peter Parker. Even though the second film wasn't all that great, I, I dug where that was headed. And all the other Spider-Man characters, yeah, I like them too but oh my god Andrew Garfield if he gets to show back up and redeem himself and tag alongside Tom Holland and maybe even Tobey Maguire they are really not holding back I mean we are set to get Tom Holland pop up in Venom 2 don't know how that's gonna happen and it's still unclear how connected Venom is to the MCU Spider-Man world we know he's very much connected to Morbius and in the Morbius trailers they were using the Sam Raimi Spider-Man suit so it could be revealed that Tom Hardy's Venom is actually in a different Spider-Man universe 
Spider-Verse and Tom Holland's Spider-Man will somehow get sucked in there, leading him to meet all these other different heroes. Aside from this mind-blowing news of Jamie Foxx returning as Electro, this will also be the first time in this new Spider-Man franchise that they bring back a returning villain from past movies. Kevin Feige has said that all these new Spider-Man films will be mainly new heroes, which is why we've gotten characters like Mysterio and the Vulture. To bring back Electro also opens the door that they're kind of done with that and we could finally be getting a new version of Dr. Octopus, a new version of the Green Goblin, which hey, this just came to my mind. If they brought Jamie Foxx back, could they go ahead and bring back Willem Dafoe to play the Green Goblin? Ah! I am loving all this news. I need you guys to leave me your opinions down below. What do you think of this mind-blowing Spider-Man 3 news? What are your theories? How does this all connect? I'm going to be reading every comment and talking to you guys down below. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more movie-related content. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.